what's going on? It's Amar here. Welcome back to one of my uh, tire review topics. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about the top five noisiest tires. I repeat, the top five noisiest tires. So these are tires that I personally installed myself, test driven them, and I've been selling them in the past. And in my honest experience, this is what I'm speaking on because, I, like I said, I've installed and I've seen these firsthand. So I don't want to bore you anymore with introductions and everything. You know where I am. You know what I'm about. Let's get started. So starting in no particular order from being good or bad. This is just an order that I wrote them down in. So number one, Hercules Raptus. Okay. Now, Hercules Tires was, I believe, owned by Cooper Tires at one point or still is. But note they have been branched off and bought out by American Tire Distributors. So this particular tire of the Hercules Raptus, uh, you'll see also in a lot of private brands, also labeled under the brand called Rotella. And there could be another brand that's stamped with the same tread pattern under Iron Man and many other private brands, some TBC brands that Hercules does own. But at the end of the day, as long as it's the same tread pattern, it's made by the same manufacturer based on China. Now, a straight tread pattern, it's got some sipes in it, it's got this little squiggly line that goes in the middle. Now, these tires are good for, uh, you know, I would say maybe five to 10,000 kilometers, and then eventually they start getting very noisy. And this could also be done by the type of rubber compound that's used. Maybe it's not, um, they're putting that much technology into the tread pattern which then cancels out a lot of sound waves but like i said this is one of the main these are one of the reasons of this tire why it happens to be noisy now moving on to number two we have the good right sv08 good right is a chinese made tire completely based out in china they have a main location in canada um, it's not a warehouse it's a i guess a broker type thing where they import them and then ship them out to distributors good right is also falls under westlake tires as well and it also falls under, I believe, there could be a lot of other private brands depending on who they're selling to, but Westlake and Good Rider, same company. SV08, if you look at it, it looks like your everyday traditional traditional UHP tread pattern, V-groove, uh, open shoulders, very flat. <clears throat> the meat to begin with, the tire is kind of low to begin with. I've seen these tires firsthand. Overall, and also sidewalls are very simple. You know, it's a plain, basic, everyday performance tire that will eventually get noisy over time. A lot of these tires get noisy because they have that V-groove to begin with. And what happens is, like I said, China, a lot of Chinese tire companies, maybe they're not putting that much more uh, different types of rubber compounds. And what happens is they're not putting technology into the tires to cancel road noise. Moving on to number three, we have the Wanli 1088 or 1088. Wanli is owned by the China, I believe it's called China or Qingdao Rubber Company in China, or also they've been known as Wanli Tire and Rubber Company in China. Wanli is one of the biggest tire manufacturers in the world at the moment. They're probably bigger than Michelin and Bridgestone combined just for the fact of the matter of how many tires they produce under the flagship Wan Li, Sunny, and then they produce other tire. Half the tires on this list are probably born at one point in this factory. This is the biggest tire manufacturing company. I've been there myself. It is humongous. Now, Wan Li makes great tires. I'm not bad mouthing them, but this particular tire I did sell quite a years back and it was one positive factor about this tire, they made this tire in very hard to find sizes that you only can get in the US. By the time you bring them over, they'd be a lot of money. So the Wanli 1080 does have a V groove, but the V groove also is not a V where it meets in the middle. One part of the V meets in the middle and the other part of the tread pattern, if you notice the picture, is much higher than what it meets. So the one of the grooves that meets the, the V groove is kind of offset and that's horrendous for road noise. What happens now, if this V had met at the same if it looked like the letter V and didn't have that little up step or that little where the top the one side of the tread meets where it's not at the top, that's what's going to give a lot of road noise. And that's why this tire eventually, maybe within the first two, three, two thousand kilometers, is very quiet. Then after it gets absolutely horrendous for the road noise. Moving on to number four, we have the Lexani LX7. Lexani is a, one of the uh, major wheel companies in the market at the moment. They do single piece wheels, which are made in China. They do forged. They're a big, uh, big player in the wheel game. You know, they're very predominant. Lexani, you know what? They're in all the magazines, celebs, great wheel company, very professional, sell them all the time. Now, this is moving about the tire. Now, at this point, I don't know who owns a Lexani tire company, if they just branched off or if they sold Lexani, uh, the name or the rights to a China tire company. They're obviously, they're made in China 100%. And uh, like I said, they could have, you know, let's say, for example, bought out the name and just stamped it on the tires. Decent quality tire. Look, like looking by the tread pattern, there could be made in the Wanli tire factory. They're just stamped like Sony. So this has a more predominant V groove. It's a lot better designed tread pattern than the Wanli 1088 and, and the SV308 Good Ride. It's got actually a very, very nice looking tread pattern. But what happens when you have that V groove and eventually, let's say, after 10 to 15,000 kilometers, you're definitely going to get that noise. This is very common in Chinese tires with this type of tread pattern. Moving on to number five, the very last one, 
Runway Enduro 916. Runway, not a hell of a literature out there. They've been around for a long time. I used to sell them five, six years back from one of my distributors. They had, they came in strong. They brought a whole bunch of tire sizes, a lot of different tread patterns, and then they slowly phased out. The distributor, I guess, maybe cut them off or didn't deal with them anymore. They are made in China, but you'll find Runway available at Walmart. Sam's Club and a lot of other brands. Like I said, for example, we're speaking of Walmart, cheapest, cheapest price, screw the quality and you know these types of reviews. And they're not gonna give you this education because that's not their main motive. Now, look at this tread pattern. If you look at the computer, you're gonna say, wow, man, I want this tire. It's a wild tread pattern. Give me this tread pattern. That's the first thing I thought when I started selling this tread pattern looks awesome. It looks totally aggressive and wild. Let's bring it in. Biggest mistake, very, very noisy and also very hard to balance where these grooves are. You'll see the V grooves underneath. They'll have an undercut of another type of tread pattern. And where the Vs meet, they're not exactly in line. They're kind of offset and very, very noisy. Uh, they get out of round very quickly and they're very hard to balance. I've had many comebacks where I've sent out the tires. Once a road noise was established, I declared these tires tread pattern. Balance them were issues. So try to stay away from not bad on bad month any tire companies because at the end of the day, we're all here to make a living. But based on my honest opinion of the ones I've sold and installed, that this is a very, very noisy tire. Now, to sum up this entire video of the top five noisiest tires, like I said, it all comes down to the same type of factors on why these tires are noisy. Number one is tread pattern design. Whenever you have a hard V groove tread pattern, it's going to predominantly get noisy over time once the top layer of the rubber burns off. Another factor is, for example, if looking at all these tires that are Chinese built, they're not bad because they're made in China. What happens is that these tire companies are more in the process of producing. I'm not putting that extra money in in the technology of the production of the tire and the tread pattern and the type of components and rubber compounds to give you that quiet ride. So for example, where you have Bridgestone, which tires are still made in America, Canada, and Japan, and some in China, but their head office where they're doing quality control and where they're designing these molds and designing all the different cuts of the rubber that does cancel out the road noise and the different types of rubber compounds because there's so many different rubber. It's not just rubber, wires, oil three compounds that go in every tire, which we know are, like I said, are in all tires, but the different types of technologies in the tread patterns and all the things that you're gonna find is what makes the more expensive tires, that's why they cost more to begin with because they're investing more money into the product and then pushing it out. For example, Hercules is only gonna invest X amount of dollars in let's say this Raptus tire because let's say and they're investing $30 US per tire in China and they come here and they import them and they sell them and then we sell them, let's say we sell them for hundred bucks Okay, that's a $70 spread, but then the middle company that's distributing them is taking their cut and then they're getting sold. So what happens, Hercules on this particular, not bad mouth Hercules and not picking this brand for a reason, but the first one on my list, if they only have X amount of dollars to invest in this tire, that is their budget. They go to China, they tell them this is what we have. The Chinese, first of all, show them different tread patterns. The Chinese say, okay, sir, this tire we can produce for you 30 bucks each with your name and this type of technology into it it'll be good enough that when you bring it over to usa and canada people will buy them end result customers won't be that pleased once they start getting noisy we got bridge from michelin where they're going to invest the extra 30 40 bucks in the tire and then sell that and charge the extra 30 40 bucks to me the distributor then to the customer so end of the day like any other age-old story you get what you paid for you buy a brand you buy a rolex you buy a timex they both tell you the same time but there is a difference. Keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. My name is Amar. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. I tell your dream lines and follow my personal account at Amar Sira, A M A R S I H R A. Links uh, to social media will be in the bio below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of my videos and hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.